So again, we know that networking is a very important key in job search strategy. Your net worth is your net worth. So my first job was I knew someone that knew someone that they were hiring, just gave me my resume and the rest was on me. It's just that first introduction that we spoke about previously, just to pass the applicant system because people, if they are happy where they're working, they want their friends or family members to work there and enjoy that work. But networking is not easy. Some introverts are not easy to approach. And we know that a lot of time these days, the events are happening online, which is sometimes easier for introverts, but for extroverts, they want to see people, they want to interact. So what can they do to be more active in networking? Or is there any specific three tips that you can give? Love it. I love networking and I honestly would not be where I am today had it not be for um, the people in my network. So if you're in my network and you're watching, I appreciate you. Um, and the big tip here is how can you form relationships? That's, you know, that's the question that I like to ask people because, um, you know, you're, you're young and you're super excited and you want to move up in a career and you you might hear a video like this where they're like, oh yeah, I need to build my network. So you go down LinkedIn and you're like, all right, who are all these people that I wanna connect with? And you start you know sending messages and stuff like that. And you know that's nice. Thank you for yeah. taking the step. It, it does take a lot of courage to take that first step. Yeah. The next level to that is, or actually the thing you should be thinking about before you you know, reach out is, you know, one, why, what's your, what's your reason? Why do you want to connect with this person? And, you know, how can you be a value to that other person? Yes. You know, it, it takes time. It takes time. Yeah. Um, you know, do your homework, find out what they're working on. Where do they, you know, um, where do they work at? You know, how can you do some stuff ahead of time? Um, and, you know, when you reach out to them, leave a message and let them know that that hey look i'm not just some random person reaching out to you yeah um i you know i admire the work that you're doing if you can mm -hmm. cite some references that's great and be forthcoming and say hey look you know um i i see that you are doing things that i aspire to do you know would it be great if if we can stay connected yeah um you know and then boom that's that's awesome and mm -hmm. uh that's a good start now here's another thing as a way to you know, build this relationship with someone because mm -hmm. when you have a relationship, people are going to be more likely to recommend you. Yes. And um, for people that when I was moving up in my career and I and they worked at companies, you know, that I admired or potentially wanted to work at, I will set a Google alert mm -hmm. for their company name. Mm -hmm. And when I hear, you know, when I get these alerts and I see something that is uh, that makes sense i would send them a message and like hey i just noticed that you got a new round of funding that's awesome way to go you know yeah. nothing other than that like again i'm just doing something or because friends share things with each other yeah if we're in similar industries i will like and if i happen to read an article uh, that i think they would like i would share that and i sometimes ask a question like hey you know have you noticed something you know similar um, you know, I'm thinking about this, you know, so again, you're starting to build a relationship. Yeah. So that is fine. Now, the deeper thing, which I, if you're watching this and you're looking to get up, you know, in your career, you're probably curious about this is asking advice. Yeah. And uh, I like to say when you are actually, to be honest, anyone can ask for advice. Like I, I used to say, oh yeah, when you're up and coming, you get this small window where you can ask for advice where people, you know, are like, oh my gosh, you're about, you know, you, you were where I was. Yes. That, that still holds water. That still is true. That is not the only chance you get. Um, you know, if you really want advice, mm. make sure that your ask is specific, very specific. Yeah. Um, and keep it short. Don't like have this huge paragraph. You know, um, I like to say start by, you know, acknowledging them, you know, something that you can acknowledge uh, for and then say, hey, look, I just have this one question, you know, that, that can take, you know, um, you know, three minutes of your time. Um, I'm, you know, looking to, um, you know, improve my portfolio. What are three things that I need in that portfolio that's going to help me, you know, and yeah. then give them an out. Mm -hmm. And, and I love doing this and say, hey, you know what, I, 
I totally respect your time. If you're too busy, can't can't do that. No worries. No worries. Um, and so that is my sort of framework when I yeah. when I used to ask for advice. It worked very well. Yeah. And here's part number two. If someone gives you advice, you better do it yes. to the best of your ability. And then again, let them know how how it went. If it worked or different didn't work, mm-hmm. you know, you know they you know they are giving their time. Um, and then here's a bonus tip. If you can add value to them, believe it or not, there are things that you can do that, you know, that can add value. So for example, um, my, before I got into coaching and training and whatnot, my background was in digital marketing Mm -hmm. and I, there were, you know, people that I had on my list, I admire that I was developing relationships with. And I noticed, uh, uh, for a few of them, like, uh, I would happen to be on their website and a few things were broken or whatever. I would just go, Hey, just FYI. I was on your site and I noticed this, um, you know, just wanted to let you know, or yeah. if you notice something that can help them, um, you know, boom, you know, shoot it their way again yeah. with no expectation of anything yeah. in return, but you're just building a relationship. Yes. It's all about building relationship, giving before asking. And mm-hmm. I always say that if someone knocks your door, they, and they want to come in and they want to build a relationship with them. And, you know, it's not just that bombarding all the time. And I always tell my clients that if you're sending a networking request on LinkedIn, send a message, you know, hi, Gary, I saw your show with my hair. I really like what you're doing. I like to connect with people like you and then follow up because sometimes you forget mm-hmm. and you just follow up and, Maybe just have 10 people that you admire because there's a lot on LinkedIn and sometimes you get lost. So just identify maybe 10 people, follow up with them, interact with their content, and then that's where they will will be remembering you. Yep, I totally agree.